Good evening. In this video, we will see regarding IJV internal jugular vein catheters, permacath versus the temporary catheters. Why this video? Because this might be helpful in your exam, practical exam as a spotter. This X rays might come, and also in the practical clinical situation to know what access the patient is having and what kind of complication which can be associated with it. And what will be the future vascular access that can be planned? Since it is raining outside, there is a lot of insect noise in the background. Okay, first we will see regarding the internal jugular vein catheter. Internal jugular vein being commonly used as a vascular access in the hemodialysis, either as a temporary or as a permanent access. Why internal jugular vein? As you know the reasons, it is very easy to access the valves are not there direct in line with the heart anti-gravity drainage though so there is less risk of dvt so first we will see regarding the temporary catheters which we usually prefer prefer for acute kidney injury or dialysis of short duration so as you see here this is the internal jugular vein catheter which was in position. It enters the skin, subcutaneous tissue and enters the vessel and reaches the heart like this. The tip is over here. Ideally, the tip should be between the junction of SVC and the right atrium. And there are a lot of debates regarding what is the exact position. So at least for this discussion, we will keep it as a junction. So this is the internal jugular vein catheter. And how long it can be kept inside? On average, up to six weeks it can be kept inside, one month to six weeks. So, what is the problem if we keep this catheter beyond six weeks? So, look at the insertion site skin, subcutaneous tissue, and the blood vessel all are almost at a particular point. So, there is a chance of infection being entering into the circulation because skin subcutaneous tissue and vessel which is directly in connection probably there will be a bandage over it and that might act as a good medium for the bacterial growth and this catheter is also somewhat stiff so there is a chances of vessel injury and most commonly the infection there is catheter related bloodstream infection the chances of sepsis is there so this catheter ideally preferred in the ak situation or if you think the dialysis duration for the patient is so less that you are expecting a recovery in the subsequent weeks so this can be preferred should it be placed only in the right side no you can prefer in the left side also left side because compared to left side right side placement is somewhat easier so this is regarding the internal jugular vein hemodialysis catheter insertion which we use it for a short time the length is also somewhat around 11 to 13 centimeter the length might be and the, it this is how it occurs uh, it can be seen in the x-ray so this is the x-ray without the catheter replacement you can see there is nothing like rib cages and everything is seen clearly so same patient this is how the temporary IJV catheter looks like temporary internal jugular vein catheter the position you can see it is coming over here I don't know in the image whether you are able to make out the tip or not it is coming like this and here probably it may, the tip is in somewhere near the right atrium how to locate in the x-ray regarding the catheter probably for MD resident they might not ask this at the DM level, probably this question might come. How you are able to locate this catheter? What are the landmarks you will use? So at least if any DM resident is watching this, make sure you are knowing this answer for this question. You are examiner might ask this one. So I will remove the drawing. Just a minute. Okay, so this is how it appears in the x-ray. As you see here, the temporary catheter which is in the internal jugular vein. What is the entry site? Probably somewhere in the neck. 
skin subcutaneous to directly entering the blood vessel now coming to the second one permacath permacath is the trade name and the technical term for this is the subcutaneously tunneled cuffed catheter cuffed catheter somewhere it is mentioned as tcc tunnel cuffed cutaneous catheter what is the advantage of this the two major disadvantage of the previous one that i have discussed the duration and the risk of infection those two can be bypassed by this permacath what is the extra advantage the catheter is somewhat lengthier for example if this is the igv catheter temporary catheter there will be one arterial line one venous line this permacath will also have two line joined together but it will be having a cuff in between the tip and this y shaped connection what is the role of the cuff the cuff prevents the infection from going from the skin subcutaneous tissue to the vessel because it will be tunneled tunneled under the skin so that is why it is called as tunneled catheter so this is how it appears it's a diagrammatic representation see what is the entry site here is the skin under the skin it is entering here there is a cuff it didn't enter the blood vessel here it takes a long course under the subcutaneous space this entire thing the catheter is under the subcutaneous tissue here it is entering the blood vessel so where is the skin where is the vessel entry side there is around 5 to 6 cm of the subcutaneous tunnel usually from the skin the infection directly goes to the vessel in the temporary catheter whereas in the permanent catheter because of the tunneling in between the tunneling here there is one cuff also cuff is nothing but some bulgy portion which is made up of bio uh, compatible material which gets adherent with the patient tissue so that no infection spread from the skin towards the vessel and this catheter is somewhat softer than the temporary catheter so there is a advantage the infection won't spread the catheter is soft so the duration can be longer how many uh, what is the time limit for this permacath there is no particular time limit up to years also it can be kept only disadvantage it is a foreign body that is why always fistula is better for ckd patient but if fist in patient whose fistula can't be made arteriovenous fistula this is the access of choice and this can be kept for up to 5 to 10 years also there are patients who were in our follow up whose catheter was placed in 2016 17 times till it is functioning so that is the advantage that is main advantage the duration because of the subcutaneous tunneling this cuffed material forms a collagen with the subcutaneous tissue it seals off the thing and this is costlier compared to the temporary catheter and what is the ideal time where we have to prefer the permacath in textbooks it is given even if the patient is requiring dialysis for more than 7 days they mentioned to go for permacath but what are the disadvantages one is the cost the second one is the subcutaneous tunneling and the removal might be somewhat tedious than the temporary catheter so this is the so this is the tunneled catheter here you can see the cuff this will come below the clavicle this cuff forms a adhesions with the skin sorry subcutaneous area thereby it seals where the vessel uh, catheter might be entering the skin probably from this end this portion downwards so the chances of infection is less compared to this one which directly enters the for example this is the site where the skin subcutaneous tissue blood vessel all three occur directly together probably there is a video on this channel regarding the igv insertion where you can see 
everything is inserted skin subcutaneous tissue vessel oil comes in a matter of probably 5 mm or 1 cm max whereas here there will be a approximately 5 to 10 cm of gap with the ceiling so that is the advantage <laughs> so where are all the permacat can be placed it can be placed in jugular vein right and the left external jugular vein even in the femoral vein trans lumbar vein four veins it can be placed probably a might be a question for the dm resident then coming to the x-ray this is how it appears in the x-ray many a medicine resident might get confused why this is appearing like a u a curved one see if it is a temporary catheter it just comes out like this whereas here there is a subcutaneous tunneling catheter is coming out through here there is a subcutaneous it is under subcutaneous area the which way vessel it is entering it is entering only the internal jugular vein same as the temporary catheter but this course is because of the subcutaneous tunnel the cuff might be somewhere somewhere over here so that it forms aggression this might be the skin entry site this prevents the infection so this is how in the x-ray it appears like this many a medicine resident might get confused after seeing this kind of curved catheter which is of longer duration so this is all about the permacath so in one x-ray we will see the comparison so this is the another patient with the permacath you can see the curvilinear subcutaneous tunnel here it is entering there is one more finding there is a iron pneumothorax look at the tip tip is probably it is in the right atrium regarding the landmark how to catch as i told you for the dm resident it is very important so try to find out the answer so this is the catheter arterial rim venous limb probably tunneling might be here usually tuck uh, the cuff usually stays below the clavicle so on the same side this is the diagrammatic representation skin entry side where you can see the subcutaneous it is going and again in and video i have shown you the real time removal of permacath once you see that you will have an idea how we are going to remove that suppose if you have doubt you can see that in the channel so this is the diagrammatic representation of the two catheters and this is how it appears in the x-ray in the real time so in the spotter if you get it try to answer at least as permacath in the technical term tunneled cuffed cutaneous catheter or subcutaneously tunneled dialysis catheter or simply say as permacath permacath is a brand name it is not a permanent catheter it can be kept for many years and what are the complications you can accept again crbsi can occur at any point of the time if the hygiene is not good the person who is handling this didn't follow the sterile procedure yes there is a chance of infection there is a chances of formation of thrombus vessel injury or or they what is the advantage it can be kept for years together what is the disadvantage of this catheter you have to ask the history and this have to be removed maximum to maximum six week if it if the patient wants to keep it beyond six week better to change the catheter because of the high risk of infection there will be a formation of endotoxins if the organism since it is right into the heart it might develop into infective endocarditis so these are all the things from the clinical point of view in the exam if they ask once you tell the diagnosis and say why the internal jugular vein is preferred compared to the other veins those might be the questions clinically you have to advise the patient to remove it and if the patient is a case of ckd you have to plan the further vascular access in future so this is the comparison of the temporary catheter and the perma catheter which is also known as aka subcutaneously tunneled cuff the catheter so regarding the left side we will see in another video bye bye